Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. This week, the president pressed for support of advanced manufacturing, held a series of live from the White House interviews with local television makers, pressed China to protect American workers against unfair trade practices, hosted Prime Minister David Cameron for an official state visit and a trip to an NCAA basketball game, and spoke on energy and job creation in Maryland. That's March 9th to March 15th, or leveling the playing field. The week kicked off with a trip to the Rolls-Royce Crosspoint facility outside Richmond, Virginia, where high-tech aircraft engine components are engineered and produced. The president got a tour of the plant and announced a new proposal for a national network of manufacturing innovation hubs. Rolls-Royce is choosing to invest in America. You're creating jobs here, manufacturing components for jet engines, for planes that we're going to send all around the world, stamped with three proud words, made in America. On Monday, as part of Live from the White House, the President participated in interviews in the Cabinet Room on his blueprint for secure energy future with local television anchors from Des Moines, Cincinnati, Los Angeles, Denver, Las Vegas, Pittsburgh, Austin, and Orlando. Later, he met with local elected leaders representing the National League of Cities and the current White House Fellowship recipients. An annual tradition for the president to meet these exceptional young men and women, he brought them to the Oval Office for a visit. On Tuesday, the president met the 2012 Intel Science Talent Search winners, and then as spring weather arrived in Washington, D.C., delivered the first outdoor statement of the year in the resplendent Rose Garden announcing new efforts to enforce our trade agreements with China and level the playing field for America's businesses and workers. Two weeks ago, I created a trade enforcement union to aggressively investigate any unfair trade practices taking place anywhere in the world. This morning, we're taking an additional step forward. We're bringing a new trade case against China, and we're being joined by Japan and some of our European allies. And then, kicking off the official visit of United Kingdom Prime Minister David Cameron, traveled with the Prime Minister to Dayton, Ohio for the first four game, with Mississippi Valley State squaring off against Western Kentucky. The trip marked the first time that a foreign leader traveled aboard Air Force One with President Obama. On Wednesday, the President and First Lady welcomed Prime Minister Cameron and his wife, Samantha Cameron, with a formal arrival ceremony and state dinner. The visit highlights the special and essential friendship and partnership with the government and people of the United Kingdom, a NATO ally and our closest partner in the world. They had the opportunity to consult on a wide range of important issues, including Iran, Syria, and Afghanistan, where our troops are fighting side by side, as well as the G8 and NATO summits that are scheduled for May. On Thursday, the President traveled to Largo, Maryland, to speak to the students and faculty at Prince George's Community College on ways to spur American jobs and competitiveness while taking control of our energy future. We can't allow ourselves to be held hostage to events on the other side of the globe. America controls its own destiny. We're not dependent on somebody else. So we can't have an energy strategy for the last century that traps us in the past. We need an energy strategy for the future, an all-of-the-above strategy for the 21st century that develops every source of American-made energy. To find out more information on any of these topics or to see complete videos of these events, go to whitehouse.gov. And thanks again for checking out your West Wing Week. I'm going to get a couple of uh, full slams. Where are the sides? Coleslaw and beans. Hot sauce. It's got to be hot. All right, that it? That's it. <laughs>